one for year 13 physics and introduction to waves it is starting from the very basics so what is a pulse a single disturbance is called a pulse a wave is a succession of pulses what do waves do they carry energy without the movement of the material medium now mechanical waves are sound waves waves in water waves on a slinky now for a mechanical wave they need a material medium in order to travel another word for travel is propagation waves can travel either as longitudinal or transverse waves now electromagnetic waves are those like radio waves microwaves infrared light ultraviolet x-rays and gamma rays these do not need a material medium to travel through they can travel in a vacuum all electromagnetic waves are transverse waves and they all travel with the same speed in a vacuum and that is three times ten to the power of eight meters per second and they all related by the formula the wave equation v equals f lambda now depending on how waves travel they can be classified as either transverse or longitudinal waves in a transverse wave the particles vibrate at right angles to the direction in which the wave moves that means if the wave is moving forward the particles are actually moving up and down in simple harmonic motion okay longitudinal waves these particles vibrate parallel to the direction in which the wave goes so if the wave is traveling this way the way the particles go is they go back and forth now where they come together those are areas of compression and where they go far apart from each other those are areas of rarefaction there are some terms used in waves the word phase describes the position and direction of motion of a particle wavelength is the distance between two consecutive particles that are in phase amplitude is the distance from equilibrium to, to either a crest or a trough period is the time taken for one complete wave to pass a point and frequency is the number of waves going past a point in one second and this is the connection between period and frequency now sound waves travel as longitudinal waves in air the closer the particles of a medium are the faster the sound travels through it so the speed of sound in air is about 330 meters per second but this can change depending on if the air is moist or if it's warm or if it's cold and so on the speed of sound in water is about 1500 meters per second so if you can see it's much more and the speed of sound in a metal would be 5000 meters per second that's because the particles of the metal are much closer together they're solids okay diagrammatic representation of sound waves of any wave whether there's longitude even longitudinal waves can be represented as a transverse wave because it's easier for us to draw a transverse wave now when waves go through a gap or um, the edge of a barrier they bend or they diffract and the amount of bending increases when the waves are bigger but when the size of the waves is the same as the size of when the wavelength of the waves is the same as the size of the gap you are going to end up with semicircular waves now interference is when two or more waves pass through each other they interfere if they have the same frequency and speed the resultant wave will form a pattern of crests and troughs as an interference pattern and in order for this pattern to be formed the waves have to be coherent and the word coherent means they're identical in all respects